Hello everybody and welcome to a new video and welcome to a reddit called Ask Canadian. Ask a Canadian. Now this will have a lot of stereotypical shit that isn't, might not be true and I'll mention if something's not fucking true or not. And then the next video that you'll see on reddit, maybe, right off the bat here. Is going to be Ask American. Ask an American. So, let's get into this. And I will explain if it, something is. Uh, lottery tax. Oh, God. Today I was listening to a Canadian podcast. They were doing a 50 50 fundraiser, which, you know, for charity. Just curious how heavy the winnings would be taxed here in the States. We have a glory gift tax, glorious gift tax. Um, I, we, I haven't done much in my charity work of 50-50 fundraisers. And the way I set things up is that why would there be winnings if you're doing it for charity? Like, I, this is the, the thing that I don't understand about, like, uh, some of those things. I get some of the, the things that they raffle off or for raffles are donated, maybe. And that's the other thing that annoys me is that Sometimes the the charity will buy the things to raffle off and they they don't even make a profit on that or they 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 break even But for 50 50s, I don't understand the concept when it's for charity Because they lose money on that by the way go check out my subreddit Anyway, um then we have an advertisement. Thank you. No, I don't want to see more of any of those. Is there a, a Canadian bank that reimburses you with, with, for withdrawing from an ATM? No. Maybe in other countries, but no. When you're pulling out a Canadian uh, in an ATM in another country, it looks like. There's Tokyo, US. Sure. Uh, do groups of children play Buck Buck Moose? No. It's still Duck Duck Goose because we have ducks and goslings geese here I saw a few posts about this but nothing really recent since COVID times just wanted to know if anyone knows how legitimate shipping forward legit f shipping forwarders because forward for worders are you sp trying to say foreigners because I wanted to order something oh from the US with it or uh, uh, something that only ships within the US found some website like my mailbox uh, but hoping to hear if one uh, if one of uh, that someone had good experience with things. So, and during the dreaded time of the Chichenet, what, the Chichenetic or whatever we want to call it, so that 
the shit show that was the pandemic. I, that's not that's not even try it. Uh, we're, we're, we're gonna take our lumps for talking about pandemic because you know what? <laughs> it was, you know, whatever. Things still shipped, by the way. You still got your packages from the U.S. It was slower because they had to cross the border. And then there was the whole entire um, convoy. The Canadian version of the convoy, which someone's made a song about that now. Anyway, uh, so, no, you didn't have to do something stupid, you just have to wait a long time. I ordered from the, I ordered from the U.S. all the time. No longer live in Canada. I get things shipped down from Canada now. Anyways, hello, I'm wondering what policy and plan Canada has to implement it to become more sustain sustainable how is their pledge to fulfill climate being carried out uh, no we don't unfortunately we have a uh, we have a dictator in or in Canada. They have a dictator in uh, in power. That's n probably never going to leave because what's happening up there, or where, uh, is that the what is happening? The same thing happening in like Russia, where um, everything has to be pro Trudeau in Canada. Every Everything has to be pro him, pro this. So he's probably going to be there for a long time because a lot of people, the majority hate him, but a lot of the, 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 the politics in Canada is weird. Um, much weirder in the States where it's more or less cut and dry more. Uh, and even the States have, has their problems. Um, but, uh, being uh, being only allowed eight years in the states, you, if the if the public allows you to, um, is a lot more better than having someone that could literally stay there forever. If the and if the radio waves say that it's he's such a great guy, if the if the news says he's such a great guy when he's not. Why are we going into politics? This is what I'm. I was uh, afraid of. Is that when the, when the video was made that I saw someone else do from a guy from the states, uh, like born and raised. Uh, this is uh, how popular is women's hockey. Not as popular as I I think it should be. Um, I think that uh, women's hockey should be on TV just like the NHL, but it isn't. There's, I don't know if there is a women's, women's version of the NHL, but you think men fight? Oh, you should see the female, uh, female hockey. It's amazing. So anyway. How do you remove... B Oh my god, thanks. Anyway. I have a serial question, okay. Don't say the milk before or before the cereal. I'm gonna throw a gasket. I spent 40 years dreaming of trying... Oh, can you buy Lucky Charms in Canada? Yes! Uh, you spent 40 years uh, dreaming of trying it. Well, that's sad because you... I don't want to send him searching if it's not even sold. Thanks. It is sold 
You'll have to go to a big department store, like grocery department, department grocery store or whatever, but yeah, it is sold. Oh, okay, auto loans, I don't care. Um, veneer or... Uh, calder Caldering. Um, I'm curious if Canadians had the ch choice and, and money to rebuild their exterior walls if of their house, what materials would you guys use? Wood siding, plastic, aluminum, uh, and probably should have been in brackets uh, or say, or plastic and aluminum. Natural or man-made stone bricks, etc. Also curious if it's different uh, provincial re residents have different taxes by the way yes the, uh, for the second yes we have different uh, residential taxes throughout canada not that i live there anymore i just know that i go up there constantly though anyway um but the the interesting thing about that is that it's it's each their own but also you'll get taxed on On that, what they do, like we uh, at the studio, which we still, I still go there and still do stuff at. Uh, what ends up happening most of the time, all the time, a lot of the time, is that a bylaw officer, when you're building something, will come out and like we had a deck, or we have a deck, and we can't call it a deck. But in in this case, I'm gonna sh I'm gonna f uh, butt fuck that 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 RM uh, bylaw officer if I get if we get in trouble for it, because it's stupid. We have to call it a boardwalk, even though it, a boardwalk has nothing to do with with just a square a square shaped uh, a bunch of wood screwed together or whatever it is, bolted and screwed together. We had to put groundhogs in the ground. These are the they're augers that attach to the deck. And I'm like, well, this is stupid. Because it's not like the deck is going to blow away. And even that, even that won't stop it. So I mean, if it did blow away, I, I, I again, I was going to, I, if I was old enough at the time when we built that thing. I, w I was a uh, I was gonna I was gonna give the guy what for him but fuck him in, in the ass but you know what it's fine in any case uh, uh we have the same law as everybody else y you can either hyphenate take your take her name take his name or just keep the keep your own names it's the same but at least we have At least in Canada, there's still the, the, the version of Roe versus Wade. And then also, um, and also we have gay marriage there. So good, good luck. Move there if you want a dictator government though. But anyway, um, how would someone get diagnosed with adult ADHD in Vancouver? Area? Well, it's the same everywhere. And I think it's a little bit bullshit. Okay, they said adult, which is which is a little bit different than like child. So now I can only ex uh, mostly talk from experience, but my mother used uh, was a doctor, so I can also speak on behalf of that as well. Usually you go for testings because, uh, well, and as an adult, you're like, I can't focus really well. And I mean, a lot of, a lot of famous YouTubers have been diagnosed with it as an adult. I was, I had the unfortunate bullshit of being diagnosed with it as a kid, which was uh, super fucking annoying because, well, 
Not that I don't enjoy this job, but this is the only job I would ever be able to do. Which is fine. I guess, whatever. But the other problem is that... Uh, when uh, I was three, and they usually diagnose you around three as a child. And I'm like, what? Kids have a lot of energy, by the way. When you get become an adult, it's like... Well, it's like me. I'm... I'm lazy. I get called. Uh, I got called out for leaning back in this. I think it was this chair, or it was one of the other chairs that I was using before, uh, just to get comfortable. Um, but I was called out for sleeping because you literally can't see that my eyes are open right now. So and that, it, what if I was blind and my eyes were permanently closed? So that I. But I'm not, so at least there's that. But that's kind of how it works. And it's bullshit when you're a kid because you're just a rambunctious kid. Of, and of course you won't get an accurate reading. So you're just chalking your, your kids full of drugs at a very young age that could actually kill them. I had a heart attack. Well, it was an attack on the heart from one of the medications that I was actually taken off of a long long time going and put back on and that was what almost killed me multiple times over <laughs> i've been almost killed too many times but that was one of the the times that it all something that the doctors were feeding me uh on a regular basis that almost killed me so just be more cautious i'm not your doctor but be careful which doctor you choose but also, don't get your kids diagnosed at three. I think it's the most stupidest bullshit I've ever seen. Just be careful. Uh, why do you have to have... Okay. Ice skates for adult adult beginners. Recommended. Recommend, recommendations. So. The problem with Canada is if you go for ice skating lessons, you'll be grouped in with a bunch of kids. Like, you're not going to, uh, if you're just learning. Because, like, everybody that can play hockey or that can afford, afford all that, which is, like, most of Canadians, I wasn't so lucky. I had to go and be like a, uh, I don't know how old I was. I was like a fucking teenager or something bullshit like that. And, uh, and uh, going for skating lessons with a bunch of like little fuckers that just absolutely were like all over the ice. They were, they wouldn't even get off the ice. Like they would, if they would fall, they would, you know, and I mean, it was just a, a big shit show. And then we had skating competitions where we had to like do an, an essentially ice dancing and you know, it was just fucking bullshit. So what I would suggest is get on the ice watch some YouTube tutorials or something don't go for lessons because well uh, all of it's gonna uh, any lessons that you go and find are all gonna be children's lessons to get it for them to learn how to skate to get into hockey oh this is interesting uh, I, I saw that one of these fucking words um, what is the question even? How is such a progressive country against self-defense? Yeah, and that was the other thing. Um, we're not allowed to have, or we're, we're not, we're, basically, if someone breaks into your house, which if, I, if someone ever broke into my house, I, and I would fight this tooth and nail because this is uh, the most bullshit law. The uh, the only way that they can actually and you can actually fight back is if they hit you first So it's the hero law versus the being an asshole law in a sense But if they break into your house you and, and that's already like they're trying to harm you in my opinion If they start breaking in your windows and your doors Breaking into your garage breaking into anything that's already harm on you. So I think to def and it, again 
I would go to jail for my family. That's, that's, that's not a problem for me. I will defend my family if I, like I say, if I had kids, if I, I mean, I mean also I'm like the, I'm the one that could back up any thing with my, uh, my full mouth and I'm the one that had to beat up so many people on behalf of other family members because they couldn't keep their mouth shut. I'm, but in any case, uh, so I'm kind of the more front lines leader in that regard. Otherwise, there's a bunch of wise people be technically behind the behind me that are not seen on a regular basis. But that I find that so stupid that, and then and even like it, the the problem is if you see like a woman being mugged or kidnapped or raped and you can't step in technically speaking the family will thank you this is the thing the family will thank you for for uh, saving their loved one and it's not just women it's it's ch children too that that get taken and everything you you but but then then the legal system will still nail you hard and it's almost like What's even the point? Like, why do we even have a legal system up there? It's it's so corrupt. It's so bullshit. And that's why I, I don't like cops. I don't deal with them on a regular. So, anyway. Um, uh, how do I prepare myself for living in a country, the country, indefinitely? Well, there's the, you have like the some of the the stuff uh, here. I have to click into it. Thank you. Um, I don't even know what MP, uh, MSPs are. Um, memberships. Um, anyway, uh, so you're a that area person an immigrant from that area trying to colonize and sit and get a citizenship in Canada um, yeah uh, I need to choose I need to choose besides the things that I've already taken care of so Uh, do I need to visit the ICBC? I don't think we have what you think we have. We have... If you're moving to certain places like Manitoba, they have private insurance companies. Or they have a private public insurance. Technically... Okay, what I mean by that is that it's Manitoba public insurance. So it's a government entity, a provincial government entity in Manitoba. Uh, across the country, it could be randomized. Some of them have like, what what would be the in the uh, uh, private ins uh, private insurance companies where you can buy or you can get your driver's license. But you also have to do the test regardless. Um, the Britain and and I think is a little bit you know crazy, because the problem is that. Driving's pretty much similar anywhere. The only difference I think there is is there's some some newer signs in other places where it's a maximum of a certain amount, not a minimum or whatever. Or it's a minimum of a of, of a certain amount, not a maximum. In some signs, speed signs, some in some places, and then in certain countries you drive drive on a different side of the road. That's the only two differences that I've seen. They're still like the same shapes of signs that mean the same thing. It's a universe, like stop signs are, are octagon and they're red. Sometimes, sometimes they're white and are not colored in they're, They just have a black outline. Anything hexagon -y or hexagon is always stop. I don't, and it, I mean, also in Quebec, driving is a little bit different where you don't actually have to stop with, I mean, 
That's because they're they drive they drive probably a lot safer than us, so they can get away with shit like that. Maybe I don't know. I don't know what MSPs mean. So you got phone, internet, hydro, bank account. Which you are going to have to close because technically um, you won't be able to afford overseas banking. Uh, hydro internet. You need a place to live first before you get hydro internet phone service. Does that mean like cell phone? Uh, but you say that everything's taken. All this is taken care of. The top th uh, four things. Driver's license. Emma. MPS. I don't know what that is. Let me actually go here. Medical service. Oh, we have. We okay. Yes, you can get like. A meta, um, a healthcare uh, plan. It costs a lot of money. It costs just as much as so. It costs just as much as tendons and, and ten, ten, tendons, whatever the word is, insurance. Um, what I would do is like. Um, wait in, for a bit for that because well it's okay so I I, I mean roughly I pay over two hundred dollars or I, I did in in Canada uh, so the conversion rate is retarded I mean yeah retarded because I can say that because it's about a certain thing not a certain person so it's stupid it's uh, but um, anyway, uh, so I paid roughly $200 for, uh, or more for tendons insurance. So being able to rent a place from a landlord and get insurance on your shit inside of it. Um, the, th the other thing is that for the most part, um, in, at least in Manitoba, because I've never lived anywhere else. For the most part, we had something called Manitoba Public or Manitoba Health. You know, Manitoba Health, and you got a Manitoba Health card, and for most things would be covered. Otherwise, you would still have to pay for dental, technically speaking, uh, eye care, all that stuff. You still have to pay them out of pocket. You have to pay. Um, for an ambulance, if it, you call an ambulance to the house, uh, it's like, well, it used to be over almost five hundred dollars Canadian, and now it's like almost a thousand because you know, <laughs> of course it is. So, it's uh, up to you. It's up to like your 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 medical problems, your medical history. So just do it when you can. Because you won't be able to do it with an offshore bank account. You have to get an address here. And you know. You don't, it doesn't say anything about that. Is there. Anything else you guys can think of. Besides the above. Yeah. Uh huh. There's that. There's the. Uh, talking about that. I mean, sure. Anyway, let's uh, move on because this video is already... Actually, we might have to end it soon anyway. Yeah. Uh, nope, shut up. Don't want, want to deal with policy. Don't care about border shit. Uh, the new drinking guidelines. And s okay, so... The new drinking guidelines up there, I think are 21, right? Is what it sounds like. But if I was, if, if, 
And the thing is, if I was under 20, or if I was 18 when that law came into place, I would have been grandfathered in. I'm not. My other family members would have had to be grandfathered in if they were the same age as me, which some, most of my family, or like there's more younger people than but anything under that, they would have, they're, they're, it would be like, oh, we're 17, we can't wait until we're 18. And then they put in that law. God fucking damn it! We, we have to, uh, we were so excited, we, we had all these plans, blah, blah, blah. And then they put in that law, and then, you know. So, yeah, I I mean, uh, I at that point, when, when there was already talk about it, I, w I would have been grandfathered in, so I was like, I don't get fucking care. But the problem is now that I get ID'd, if I was to go up there and and uh, order or go into like a liquor store or whatever, because there's different, it, it's different. That's the other thing. It's different in every province. We have Manitoba liquor and lotteries uh, in Manitoba. More like hell on earth. But, um... The other thing is that, um, yeah, I get ID'd, even though I'm 25, as of this year, I'm 25, like, last December 6th, I was, uh, I turned 25, I still get ID'd, even though there was a, uh, I have a, I look like I'm way older, don't I? Like, I look like I'm older than the legal age, whether it's 18, 19, or 21, or 20. I, I have a full beard now. Before I had a patchy beard. As soon as I shave it lo sh sh shorter, I ha I have a decent beard. I don't look like um. I don't like look like some. It's like a bunch of below the belt pubic hair. Anyway, so yeah. And that's uh that's the drinking guidelines it's 21 and i don't like i don't care but i don't like it either is driving the trans no driving the trans canada highway there's different situations that you have to worry about there's the rocky mountains which are are a bitch to climb in the winter and then there, and there's other shit along the way that you have to be careful. I have, I mean, it's it's the only route that goes back and forth. There's no trains. There's no, there's nothing worth it. Um, I would love it if the, we had trains again, but we don't. Anyways, thank you guys so much for watching because this video has already gotten pretty long for how much I actually covered. Um, we're going to go to the American one. I'm surprised there was nothing about um, stereo, more more of the stereotype stuff. There was buck, buck, moose, which is bullshit. We do not live in igloos. We're not friendly whatsoever. We 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 love to say uh, uh, I'm sorry, but we don't actually mean it. Um, there is, uh, they're not Canadian goose. Don't say that because that's racist to Canadians. They're just geese, goslings, cobra chickens, or, you know, little shits. You can call them. Or, or just call them go goose don't, or geese or something. Don't call, don't put Canada in front of it because... The problem is we're not to blame for it. They were here before us. Before can Canada was even a thing. Anyway. Thank you guys so much for watching. We'll see you guys in the next one. Bye bye.